Hello world and welcome to a very special installment of Golfing the Villages. On today's episode, we are on location at the Golf Central Retail Store, located in the heart of Brownwood Town Square. A mere few paces from the center of the town square, placed at 2690 West Torch Lake Drive, sits Golf Central. This local independent retailer specializes in club fittings, club maintenance, and of course, retail sales. Today, we have been granted special access to the store, so without further ado, Let's get after it. As we begin making our way into the store, I am immediately awestruck by the incredible selection of brands and merchandise available from Golf Central. The proximity and location are so incredibly convenient. I find myself visiting the store every time I go to Brownwood Town Square, and you should as well. Unlike other retailers in the area suffering from bare shelves and lackluster service, Golf Central is bursting at the seams with an abundance of goods to choose from. The laid-back family atmosphere which they present is something that the people of the villages appreciate. In my personal dealings with this location, I have been continually impressed by the superior customer service and extremely friendly staff. The thing I like about Golf Central are the options. They can fit anywhere from a junior golfer all the way up to a senior golfer. So they've got stiff, regular, senior, and of course, don't forget the ladies. With all the top brands available at Golf Central, you will have no trouble in creating the golf setup of your dreams. Another great thing about Golf Central is budget. Whether your budget is on the high end or on the low end, they've got you covered with used sets, new sets, and everything in between. As we head over to the putting corral, again, I am astounded at the amount of putters in stock. I have an appreciation for retailers who go above and beyond in order to offer you a cornucopia of golfing gear, always ensuring they have ample supply on hand in order to be able to scratch your itch. Moreover, this is especially impressive given the fact that Golf Central is an independently owned and operated small business. For me, I personally feel it's important that I show my patronage as a consumer by supporting a business run by members of my community. With senses on overload, I began to touch and feel the putters on hand. I even decided to take a Scotty for a spin. I encountered brands such as Scotty Cameron, Ping, TaylorMade, and Odyssey, just to name a few. I could have easily spent 45 minutes in this area just fanboying all over the putters. Nevertheless, I would encourage you to check it out on your next visit. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Incidentally, after receiving a green light approval from my chief financial officer, aka Amy, a new putter purchase may be in the offing. As my birthday is right around the corner, I believe I may be able to finagle a new putter out of the situation, and if I do, you betcha, I'll be buying it from Golf Central. This is the putting corral. There's brands like Odyssey, Ping, and Scotty Cameron, just to name a few. There's something about the ability to indulge all your senses. Come in, roll a few putts, and you know what? Walk out with one the same day. After draining a putt and giving Amy the look, I made my way over to a subsection of golf bags for a more in-depth look. Well, you're going to need a place to put your sticks, and where better than a bag. Starting out with the cart bag specifically. You've got a place to put the strap, attach it to the golf cart, and that is a great option. Another option that we have here are the stand bags. The stand bags have the legs, allow you to kick them down and uh, set up the bag in a standing configuration. The third option, maybe a little lesser known, is the Sunday bag. A lot of people prefer this bag because they go to the pitch and putt and they can just carry a couple of clubs with them. 
Another great use for this bag though is to supplement a cart bag. Let's say it's a day where you've got cart path only and you don't want to walk all the way across with your entire bag. Grab a few clubs, throw it in the Sunday bag, take it to your next shot. Follow along now as we make our way over to a more hidden section of the store where many of the accessories reside. As you can see, the store is again well stocked and organized, which really does appeal to my senses. There is something quite satisfying about a well organized retailer. The first section contains various types of head covers, towels, cleaning products, and practice aids. Then of course, the massive wall of golf tees is quite visually impressive. This is one of my favorite areas, accessories. Look at all the tees. <laughs> Everything you need, ball markers, tees, all here at Golf Central. You name it, they have it at Golf Central. What an impressive sight to behold. Let's now make our way over to the grip area, club smithing room, and fitting bay. The first thing worth mentioning is that there is no extra charge for fittings. Yes, you heard correctly, Golf Central does not charge for fittings. This is an incredible offer you need to take advantage of. Next, there is no extra charge for regripping clubs if you purchase the grip from Golf Central. This is another excellent value which is hard to beat. If that wasn't enough for you, in most cases Golf Central can complete your regripping the same day or even while you wait. This of course depends on a few factors, again how busy they are, but so far they have yet to disappoint me. Also mid-season I worked with Jim, the manager of Golf Central, to conduct a loft live verification on my clubs. He was able to complete that task while I waited, which is something that other golf shops in the area just couldn't offer. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that Golf Central will buy your old clubs, so please contact them for more details. At some point, you are going to need golf balls, and Golf Central has you covered, with an incredible selection and what seems like an endless supply. They have golf balls to fit every swing and every budget. You absolutely can't go wrong in this particular section of the store. Not only can you outfit your golf bag for on the course, but if you're like me, you can also load up on balls for your practice tube or shag bag. I personally prefer those Titleist Pro V1 practice balls at $3 each or just spring for the better deal of $30 a dozen, which happen to be in my practice bag right now. As a guy who prefers his Cabretta leather gloves, I can't help but notice the 4 for 30, but this wall of gloves is quite impressive. As we make our way around the store, we notice the wall of shoes. In fact, we were told that another delivery was coming in the next few days. So this is an impressive amount of gear to have on hand. Having Sasquatch problems, it can be hard for me to find a size 14 or 15 golf shoe in store, and I am usually relegated to ordering online. However, this is not the case at Golf Central. They regularly carry the larger shoe sizes, which I certainly appreciate. Now on screen, you will find a menu of services for all your club needs. And now last, but certainly not least, Golf Central has a dedicated section for lady golfers. This sometimes overlooked aspect of the golfing industry is front and center at Golf Central. With an ample supply of gloves, hats, shoes, and accessories to suit every lady's taste. It is refreshing that a store would dedicate such an extensive selection to our fellow lady golfers.
Full disclosure, I reached out to the owner of Golf Central in order to receive permission to film. He enthusiastically agreed and mentioned Golf Central was going to be running new promotions and giveaways in the future on both Facebook and Instagram. So be sure to check out Golf Central on those social media platforms with links in the description below. I was not compensated for this video in any way by Golf Central. The goal of Golfing the Villages is to highlight excellent aspects of golf in and around the villages, and Golf Central is a prime example. Next time you drop by Golf Central, let them know we sent you, and until next time, we'll see you on the course. Okay.